with Louise Duarte and her husband, author Squire Rushnell, and it's nice to have both of you in our home, so Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Wait, you only see two? I think yeah. there's like yeah, 70 I'm over seven, here. Seven, <laughs> but how many, of those, how many are there inside of you? You know, it I, I have probably about 100 characters that I did. Wow. Not wow. all great, but you know, about 100 yeah. of them, yeah. Yeah. It, it may, like it must make it really interesting to live with Louise. You never know what oh, you're I going know. to get in the morning. Yeah. yeah, Joan Rivers is with us all the time, though. Oh, she's Joan. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, she's very bawdy. I she, love you. Jo jo yeah, Joan's yeah. one of my favorites. Can you <laughs> yeah. Beverly, I'm doing the plastic surgery. My body is sagging so fast. My bra size used to be 34 C. Now it's a 34 long. I mean, oh. <laughs> well, we have some footage of you in costume with Tim Conway, and I know that Harvey Corman, you traveled with both yeah. of them together in a uh, all over the country yes. doing your improv or your show. Over 100 I, shows a year we were doing. That's a really? lot of traveling. Yeah. yeah, always sold out. People mm. had the best time when they okay, saw them did together. Did you come over for a dinner party at my house? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, be There'll be a lot of people there, not just yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> right. you get about 100 people who well, invite me. Here, let's take a look at this video. This is priceless. Heaven's a wonderful place. I love it up there. There's only one problem. The whole place is no smoking. So I filed a complaint to St. Peter. He said, George, you want to smoke? Go to hell. <laughs> now, to prevent kernel damage, and decay, there are three simple steps to be taken, and they are as follows. One, after shucking the corn, make certain that the corn is properly dried before storing. Corn is easily damaged if it is not given. <laughs> what a joy every day to be working with you. Really. I decided to bring my glasses and sit down with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl, George. <laughs> How did you meet Tim? He's so oh. incredible. You know, this was, talk about a God wink. And we're gonna, I know we're going to talk more about God winks later, but when I was a little girl growing up, and you would know a Catholic Italian mother, she would take me to the Catholic church, and she would always say to me in her thick Boston accent, he has a quarter, light a candle for the souls in purgatory. And I would light a candle, and I would think, I already have, I only have one candle. You know, and I would say, oh, please, God, please, God, I just want to meet Carol Burnett. I just want to meet Carol Burnett. Felt terrible for the souls in purgatory, but I really <laughs> wanted Carol. Well, that was my life growing up. I loved the Carol Burnett show, and I used to dream that I would work with Tim Conway and Harvey Corman, and I prayed that one day I would meet Carol Burnett. Years later, I get to L.A., I'm working in this variety show on television called Off the Wall, and I was doing an impression of Carol, when she used to ask questions of the audience. She said, yes, y'all have any questions, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Carol sees it, and I get a phone call at my house in Woodland Hills, California. I pick up the phone, and I hear, hi, Louise, this is Carol Burnett. <laughs> Listen, I saw you do an impression of me, and I loved it, and I'd love to meet you. Well, here is a prayer coming true. I meet Carol Burnett, the greatest day of my life. I left her, I was so grateful to God, and I looked up to heaven and I said, oh God, if I could just meet Tim and Harvey now. <laughs> <laughs> and years later, Tim called me. He was looking at, he was supposed to be looking at all these videotapes of people to join him and Harvey on the mm -hmm. road. He saw one tape, it was at the top of his desk. I don't even know how it got there. It was some of my characters. And he said to his wife, Charlene, what do you think? And she mm. said, yeah, hire her. And that was 15 years it's been now of a love affair. Wow. I adore him and loved That's Harvey. Great. We lost Harvey yes. about three years yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. But in retrospect, when you look back on it, knowing that what you know now, you would call that a God wink, oh, both yes. meeting Carol and Tom, uh, yeah. Tim and yeah. Harvey. Unbelievable. Yes. Yeah. How could a little girl from Quincy, Massachusetts, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 3,000 miles away, meet her idol, Carol Burnett? It's a God yeah. wink. I, I want to, you're going to do a little performance here for us that, that you've set up, but just real quick, how do you, how do you be, even begin breaking apart a character and recreating them in your own persona? It's, it's really, well, you just said it, Mark, it's breaking it down piece by piece. But I watch sometimes in slow-mo where they put their lips, their tongue, like when I, like Barbara yeah. Walters, I, because she, she actually talks in the back of her throat. You know, she talks like, <laughs> you know, I've interviewed everyone from Ronald Reagan to Robert Whitford, Russell and Russell to Russell Robert. <laughs> I love 
little bit of Jackie Mason there. A little, Jackie Mason there, a little oh. bit of Jackie Mason. You know, both <laughs> Jewish. I don't know. What can I say? Uh, yeah. I love Jackie the shoulders Mason? go in the right place. Uh -huh. Jackie, I don't care what you say. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jackie. Well, well I, I, shall we cut you yeah. loose here? Yeah. Oh, would, you okay. do, would you do would a you couple do? of years? Oh, I, I would love to. Okay. Yay! Okay. All right, let's right. Well, since it's the Academy yeah. Awards. Yeah. Yeah. I actually had a dream the other night that I got to go, and I was in the backstage elevator with all my favorite stars from film and television, and all of a sudden the elevator doors, doors got stuck. How? Oh, she look, the elevator doors down now. We're all stuck in here and can't get out. Look at that Rosie O'Donnell. She's sucking all the air out of the elevator. <laughs> This is Jane Fonda. <laughs> hey, everyone, just calm down. We're going to do some claustrophobic aerobics. <laughs> I want you to stretch and burn and feel the pain. Let's get back to our original weight, seven pounds, six ounces. <laughs> oh, this exercise is making me hungry. Ain't anybody got any food in this elevator? I see food. It's right over there. It's in Bart Simpson's pocket. Give me that candy bar, you little rug rat. Hey, man, nobody lay a finger on that butterfinger, man. <laughs> Simpson, get over here and teach your child some manners. Now, Bart, that's not very nice. Don't you think? <laughs> oh, you know, yes. Everyone in the elevator? Yeah, don't you think you should share? Oh, look at over there. Hillary Rodham Clinton. Oh, Senator Clinton. Look at this. How do we get ourselves into this elevator? I ask you. It's a vast right wing conspiracy, Joan. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get us out of there. I'm, 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 I got somebody on the emergency phone here. Hello, who is it? Hello, this is Dr. Ruth Fistheimer. Uh, what is your problem? Dr. Ruth, you gotta get us out of this elevator. I'm sorry, Barbara, but I cannot. Well, how come? Because, you idiot, I'm standing right next to you. <laughs> well, I didn't see it down there, little munchkin. As the mayor of Munchkin City, I resent that. Oh, look, everybody, it's Popeye over here. Well, he'll help us out, won't you, Popeye? Well, sure, olive oil. I'll blow the place. Down, cause I am bought by the sailor man. Woo woo! Yeah. 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 That is genius. Yeah. So. And Squire, you laughed harder than I, any of us. I See, how many times have you heard it? A hundred shows still a year, oh. I laugh. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. That's so great. You can see more on the DVD together again, right? You have the DVD out. You can get this together again, and it's available at Tim Conway's website, which is timconway.com. Tim Conway. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. Hilarious. Oh. This is great. So when we come back, we're going to find out what we call a coincidence that changed the course of their lives. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. You should be a.